Okay, we are back with another Scandi demo. So this is on the iPad Pro with LiDAR and have Scandi Pro now successfully running this setup, which is great news. So, hey, this is the front facing sensor as was previously the case. That's fun, it's the phone. Neat. Um, and then we're gonna flip this around and go into LiDAR mode. So I can squirrel around and cool, that's that desk right there. That looks right. Um, so you can see my camera icon isn't moving yet. It's because I'm in preview mode. Now I'm gonna hit the start button and now it's scanning. So it's gonna junk up some of that old data, which is fine. And now it's erased and now we're scanning. And you can see that that little red line is showing my scan history and the camera rotates with me and yeah, it's pretty neat. So we're going to go run around the house and scan stuff really quick and show you how cool this is. So just turn out of here, whip around. I'm glad I've got the ultra wide on the iPhone. Otherwise this would be really nauseating. So just finished that room. And I'm gonna go down this dark hallway, which this is something that we were talking about last night on the XR Talk podcast is, I think it might be using the infrared on the LiDAR to improve the tracking since there was no light in this hallway and it was working just fine. So don't know, um, definitely a possibility, but the tracking's really great. And then gonna go into the garage, which is completely dark and it's tracking. So must be, must be using that, right? Cool, so that's my car. Scanning, scanning. Scan some ice chests and luggage. So if I wanna just like see what's happening more up close to see how my scan is going, you can see I can just zoom in on my little camera icon. And now we are looking at the like detail of this scanning. So we definitely wanna add a feature to Pro where you can set it back into follow mode. So it'll follow the camera and then probably also include a first person scanning mode as well. Um, car is scanning decently well. It's probably because it's dirty. So, scanned the car. And the tracking on this iPad is phenomenal. There's like never even a time when it thinks about is it not tracking. Gotta love that wide angle lens. So boop a doop a doop. Scan the car. That's pretty cool. This appears to be working. Might have a little trouble with some of this spot on the hood because it's Oop, almost fell over. It's shiny. Don't mind this mess of a garage. And then we're going to come through this door. It's so nice. Like, so I just wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing and scanning, but it didn't lose tracking. I just like you know, put the device down, boop, nope, still tracking, everything's good, no worries. So, flip around, scan that entrance way, and again, you can like 
pull up details if you want to see closer of what you're doing. It's funny, it keeps getting Charlie in different places, so have to maybe edit him out later. So boom, that's all good. Um, one cool thing that I have found that I enjoy watching is just being able to see yourself in a bird's eye view is immensely entertaining, for me at least. It might be only moderately to not entertaining for people that aren't computer vision nerds, but I think it's going to be pretty cool for anyone. Um, so a fun thing here that I've enjoyed doing is so we're right here about to scan this and then scanning that archway, it looks really cool as it starts to form out. So I'll just go ahead and scan that and boom. Yeah, so, yes, Charlie, it's very adorable. Let's just quickly finish scanning the rest of the kitchen. I'll be really interested to take this and compare it because there was a Matterport scan of this house done recently because it's on the market and I'm really interested to get that data and do a comparison to see how different the Matterport scan is to the one that I'm making on the iPad with Scandi Pro using Apple's new meshing scene reconstruction which is really freaking awesome. So it's fun to just pause for a second and examine a scene that you're making. Also scanning this sink I found is really fun. For some reason, I get great enjoyment out of seeing those little wells appear in the middle of this island. So that's cool. If I see like any area that doesn't look quite right, like see how that's bowing out some, I can just come back over and rescan that. And then Apple's system is going to apply some better logic to it and try and do mesh repair and loop closure to that area. So Cool, we're done with that. Walk over here, scan the bar. We're over here now. Scan the bathroom. So I'm going to close this door and we'll see how it does with remeshing this door as I walk past it. So boom, I think it's going to be just fine. I imagine Apple thought of this. Yeah, they did. That's fine. So one thing that I keep forgetting to do is going up and down like that, but it's really rewarding whenever you do scan everything nice and perfect like that. So I'll have to make sure to record a different video showing proper scanning motions. So there's a lot of glass and mirrored surfaces in this house and tile and stuff. And so 
I'm actually just incredibly amazed at how well this is scanning, even on those reflective and mirrored surfaces. Oh, hello, cowboy boots from a different video. We'll probably, we'll probably keep scanning the cowboy boots. So you can see this red track that we just did of the house. So there's the office right there. And then we went down that hallway right over there and then came out and in and around. So you can see the whole little path we took and it's really fun, really, really fun. Um, this is the pantry. That's why there's a big black box there. It's fun seeing the like dollhouse version of your house, figuring out how all the walls and everything are laid out. But yeah, that's it. Um, that was that was super easy, a lot of fun. Um, there's the house. There's my car. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna like take that car and drop it into a game, but you know, maybe take a little more time scanning and would be a better asset. But in terms of like me just running around the house kind of haphazardly for 10 minutes, that's pretty freaking cool. So we'll save the scan. Oh, my subscription expired. I will use my scan for free today. And since this is now in Scandi Pro, I can just take the existing Scandi Pro tools like Decimate. So you can see that this file is already pretty minimal. Um, they're doing a pretty good job of making it uh, you know, a compact file, but we can go ahead and decimate this even more. And it just went from 14 to five megs. I bet it'll hold its shape pretty well going down even further. So now it's 2.6 megs. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. Love it. Cool. So I'm going to I'm going to save me a new one of them. And we're going we're going to give this a try. We're going to try to measure the house that I just scanned. We're going to try and take some measurements in AR. This has not been working very well for me, but we love a challenge. So I guess I'll measure the edge of this bar, which it worked, hooray! The bar is two meters across, which I totally believe. So new line from A to B, boom. Uh oh, looks like my point didn't quite land where it was supposed to, but anywho, we can get that fixed where the AR measuring is working, but I mean, that's pretty freaking neat. In a couple minutes, I was able to take a scan of this house and now I've dropped it back into AR and I can just like look around inside the house, inside of the house, inside of the house, inside of the house. All right, we'll, we'll stop that before we get too uh, recursive. So this has been Scandi Pro using the iPad 2020 LiDAR sensor. And with any luck, this will be available Monday in the App Store, ready to go. We're testing today. See the yellow dot? It's in test flight. We're testing it. Can't wait to get it out to you. Look forward to your feedback and happy scanning.